Now to an altercation in a downtown park, ending with the shooting of a dog. Tonight, the search for the person involved in this disturbing case of public violence. CTV's Beth McDonnell is live at Barbara Hall Park tonight with more on what happened. Beth. Michelle, when this shooting first happened, there was actually confusion whether it was a person or a dog that was shot. Tonight, a friend of the dog owner tells me he's distraught over the loss. A man's three-year-old dog is dead, shot and killed in Barbara Hall Park. It happened steps from the AIDS Memorial, located in the heart of the village, Toronto's historic home for LGBTQ plus communities. I heard two sounds that first we thought might be a car backfiring, but it didn't sound quite like that. And immediately after a man screaming, I've been shot, I've been shot. Toronto police say around 1045 Tuesday night, a man and a male suspect got into some type of altercation. It's believed they didn't know each other. Police say the male suspect left, but then came back and shot the man's dog around 1115 and took off. But when we got there, uh, we found uh, this man's three-year-old dog had been shot. Um, we helped the man take the dog to um, an emergency veterinary hospital. Officers on bikes have been in the park with canvassing for witnesses and video underway. The shooting follows a stabbing of a man in the park earlier in the day. This time, the violence erupted around 7.30 in the morning. Police say stemming from an argument. It becomes frightening to leave. I mean, we love the park, but the park is not the park anymore. It, it's owned by these dealers. Vera Tarman is a former AIDS doctor and dog owner who has lived next to the park for 20 years. Tarman is concerned about violence in the park, which she says stems from drug activity. She says people on her street are anxious. It's heartbreaking to see people um, dealing drugs in front of the memorial. The security is, is there, they don't do anything. So now we're getting to the point of thinking maybe we just need to lock the the doors of the park um, at, at night. Uh, just something to discourage the drug use. Tarman doesn't believe the violence is coming from the unhoused. She says they are being preyed upon like residents and puts the blame on dealers. Chris Moyes is the area city councillor. The police have said to me that they will have an increase of officers in this area to deal with some of the problems that is ongoing. If the male suspect is caught, police say he could face firearms or animal cruelty related charges. We are waiting to hear from police to learn more about the dog's breed and suspect information. Councillor Chris Moy says he doesn't think fencing or locking the park is the right move. He wants to see more programming and people coming to the park. He says there is money set aside to revitalize it next year. Reporting live, I'm Beth McDonnell. Michelle, back to you.